All right, hey, good morning. So we are at Eisenhower State Park. The wife and I decided to take a, just an overnight quick trip to uh, check out Eisenhower and uh, maybe get a couple of shots. But so the main reason we're here is we've decided to try out a different way of camping. So usually when we go camping, we of course have the big 30 foot RV. And as you can tell, it's quite large and a lot to carry around. So for those small trips, not so fun. It's not. It's a, actually kind of a, a little bit of a work to carry that big thing around. So on smaller trips, it's not quite worth it. So we graduated from that to um, a nice uh, regular tent, right? So a regular tent holds like six people and a pop-up tent is basically a shower and you can put like a little porta potty inside of it too so it's basically like a shower and a bathroom so we went from an rv for our big long trips to our weekend shorter trips so either one night or two nights to using a nice pop-up tent and a shower tent so that turned out okay except sometimes you get there at 12 o'clock at night and it's quite painful to you know get everything situated put up your tent and and get in sleep and get to bed before time for sunrise to do pictures so i was looking for something a little bit easier an easier way to do it something that wouldn't be hard to pack something that would be hard to just jump in and go to sleep kind of like the rv but not as big as the rv so our solution was a soft topper camper shell for my Dodge Ram. So I have a little Dodge Ram truck and it's a small bed so it's about I guess five foot eight. So I'm of course almost six foot about five eleven to six foot somewhere in there. So we have a soft topper and this video is not sponsored by them but you can go to softtopper.com and see what I'm talking about. And this soft topper is basically a camper shell. But it's a camper shell that's made out of this waterproof type material so you can easily take it pop it down or pop it back up uh, and use the back of your truck if you want to um, so pretty pretty neat so our truck is five foot eight so it's a little bit tight in there so we bought an extension to go on the soft topper so our new camping solution is two parts the soft topper and then a little tent that kind of goes over the back of the tailgate so that extends it out a couple of more feet so we spent one night at Eisenhower State Park trying it out, trying out the soft topper. Just my wife and I, of course, it's only big for two people. Kind of a tight fit for two, but not too bad. Uh, one person, it's, it's excellent. So this is meant to basically be for those quick weekend trips. You got to drive three, six hours. You get there at midnight and you got to get up early for sunrise pictures. Just carry your soft topper park hop in the back of it go to sleep so pretty neat solution how did it work out well you know not bad we actually slept pretty good uh, there was it was a little tight but there was room for both of us so and we've got it pretty fixed up in there here let, let me let's take a look at it let me show you so we have the soft topper camper shell you can see it here on the back of my truck it's a black material i think they have different colors and then on top of that we have a DAC basically extension tailgate tent so as you look at that you can see it just kind of goes on the end there and lets you put the tailgate down so you can have a little bit more room so that's pretty neat now the DAC tent has two doors first you have a door that somewhat keeps the rain out and it zips up and then you have a screen door so it has two sets of zippers for both doors one for each door and these kind of come up and you have the screen door and these can roll up like this and basically you can just choose to have them both closed or you can have the screen door only let some air in there keep the bugs out though so pretty neat so second layer of zippers and you can unzip the, all the way to the top and the bottom here so you can basically open them up like that so pretty neat pretty neat now on the inside we've decided to fix up the soft topper with lights and you can see here we got a, a lighted fan and we basically run 
these um, solar powered lights along all of the pipes and stuff. So as you can tell, we, we don't take down the camper very often. So since we don't take it down very often, we just leave it up. We ran ahead and ran the lights across the beams inside the camper. So it provides really nice light uh, when you're trying to get in there and relax. And you could even read a book off of it. And so really nice. Um, and it's solar powered. So we just put the, when we're parked somewhere, we could just take the, the battery that hooks up to them and uh, lay it out in the sun, let it charge itself. So pretty neat. Now this is the first time us using this setup. Um, we had these two fans here and they provided uh, ample air in, in the, the back of it. Of course, I can imagine when you get in like the 90s or hundreds in the summer in Texas, probably gonna be pretty hot back here. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but we'll, we'll try it out, we'll see. Right now we're in the spring, so not too bad. We, these little fans blowing some good air in there, plenty of circulation not too bad now on this DAC tent you can see here it's pretty neat i've got a pole that goes up and kind of goes across here all the way across to the other side and there's another pole and it just goes down into the corner of, of the uh, tailgate there so you basically just stick it down the corner there and that keeps it uh, propped up and keeps the tent up so pretty neat there now there is one downside. This pretty much keeps the bugs out, except for here. There's a good opening right there. Uh, now a lot of people, what they do is they just take a couple of towels and just put in this opening. And it kind of blocks it and keeps the mosquitoes from getting in. But uh, of course it's still early for mosquitoes for us. So not too bad last night, but in the future, we'll probably have to block that little hole. Now we have the DAC extension tent on the tailgate. And this video, of course, isn't sponsored by them, but I'll put a link below to their site and you can check it out in case you need it. And we have the soft topper. It can be found at softhopper.com. I'll also put a link there too, um, so you can check it out. They have different sizes for different trucks. So we like it. This turned out to be pretty neat. I'm just not sure how well it's gonna do in the summer, but uh, we'll find out, we'll see. For those one night, two nights, maybe not too bad. Now, as far as sleeping arrangements, well, we've got two great blow-up mattresses here. I forget the brand. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, these mattresses, oh, oh, oh they're a little on the expensive side, but man, they feel like my bed at home. I mean, they are super nice. They're a little expensive, but you get what you pay for. They're very nice. So, we basically just have two of those blow up mattresses you can kind of see them here and they you know they have foam and stuff inside of them we got our sleeping bags and blankets and of course several pillows now what we do is is we have a couple of battery generators here we have a 500 watt and a 250 watt so we use this for charging our phones or anything else that requires to be recharged um, sometimes we'll power the lights off of it or recharge the lights if the solar panel isn't charging enough like on a rainy day uh, I forgot to mention those lights are really neat they have both a solar charger and a way to hook them up to be charged um, through an electrical outlet so really cool now we're gonna go ahead and take this off and kind of give you a good picture of what the soft topper looks like by itself you don't have to have this extension tent if you've got a long bed or you're less than five foot eight and you have a short bed, then you can just use the soft topper. Now it has a top flap which can just roll up. And there's two types of flaps. I, I got them both. Right now I'm using the more of a plastic one. Kind of keeps uh, water out, but less air too. So you can see here, it's more of a plastic type window all right pretty good for seeing through not too bad all right and you can also buy one that's more or less um, you can also buy one that more or less allows air to get in basically a net so mosquitoes can't get in but the air can get in so we have that too and i think it just zips on and off right you can go up here there may be 
yep, Velcro up here. And you can swap them out. You can use the closed one, less air, or you, or you can use the net type one, basically that allows you to get more air in there, but also keeps mosquitoes out still. So now this flap has a little pole and it basically attaches to your truck there. And you just kind of snap it on there to make sure it's not going anywhere. Pretty simple stuff. This hose setup is real simple. Probably took me about, I don't know, 30 minutes to install maybe. I would say actually 30 to 30 to 40 minutes, but I'm, I'm kind of slow. I think most people are getting it done in, in 20 to 30 minutes. So, but it basically, it basically has a little rail system that goes down the side there and you just install it. And then you have this, of course, the frame, the middle frame that keeps the top up, right? So you have to put the top on there and then put it and then connect it to the frame. And uh, again, it, it's very simple. If, if I can do it, anybody can do it. My son and I had it done 30, 40 minutes. Not too bad at all. Very easy to do. Now, the only problem I've had it at all so far is you can see here, got a little bit of space between your truck and the camper shell. So there is a little flap that kind of hangs down right in here and it keeps the rain out. It's pretty good. Now when you get going down the highway pretty fast, now I drove for an hour. Now I drove for an hour getting here. It actually didn't do it, but one of our three hour trips, the wind will push against this and it'll cause this flap here, this flap right here, to kind of go more towards the inside. So you would think it's gonna allow rain in, but I, I still think it doesn't. It's just not staying down in that hole the way it should. But I think somebody could probably fix that with some Velcro, something like that. But honestly, I'm not even gonna deal with it. It's not needed. I think it still keeps the rain out, so no big deal. Now you'll see along the edges of this soft topper, this is Velcroed. So you can unhook it all the way up, right? And you can unbutton, I don't know if you can see it here, but there are buttons, like right there, right? There's a, there's a button. You can unbutton along the sides, and you can take this side, and you can unvelcro it, unbutton it, and just flip it up on top. So you can actually roll it up, roll the soft top up, flip it up on top, and just have basically a roof with the sides latched up and tightened down to right here. You see there's one, two, three of these that basically allow you to take that side and roll it up. And you can do that on one side or you can do that on both sides. And then you end up having a frame with a top. So pretty cool, it's very flexible to allow you to uh, handle different situations in case you want to put something in the back of the truck there without having taken the whole thing off. And also, if that's not enough, this whole thing, once you flip those things over the top, this whole thing can basically fold this away. So it'll actually, it'll actually go from here and just fold down and end up being fo folded down right there. And at that point, you have your whole bed open to do whatever you want. You can put bicycles, put a motorcycle back there, put a lawnmower back there, do whatever you want. It just folds over basically. And it's even got a little case that wraps around it once you fold it down. So again, very versatile, very flexible. Um, I don't have a need to take it down, so I just leave it up. But uh, pretty neat stuff. And it's not expensive. It's a very, very affordable solution. Very affordable solution. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention is uh, that we did for this setup is we put down carpet. So in the bed itself and on this tailgate, we've got this, it comes from the same company. It's a very affordable solution. I think 150 bucks total. So 150 bucks total and it's carpeted. The back of the bed is carpeted. This tailgate is carpeted and this it may not look that thick, but it is thick and comfortable. And for old people, for old folks like myself, uh, that carpet is great on your knees, boy. It saves your knees. And it just gives it more of a clean feeling, right? You're not laying in the back of a, a truck, uh, a bed of a truck. You're laying on this nice clean carpet 
and it's waterproof. You can scrub it, you can spray it down, soap it down, waterproof, so easy to clean if you get it dirty. So pretty neat. All right, so that is our setup. We have the DAC uh, tailgate tent on the back. We have the soft topper camper shell. That's very easy setup, very versatile setup. We've got the carpet on the tailgate and in the truck bed. It's very soft, great for your knees, very comfortable. And we went ahead and put the solar lights up. And we have a, again, we have like a um, shower tent that we use to take showers, to change clothes in. And we use a little porta potty if we need it. So it's a very simple setup, very easy to use, very easy to just jump in and go and, and get a good night's sleep before you get up for that sunrise. So nice solution. So for all these items, we're gonna put a link below in the comments, definitely check them out. It's a very affordable solution. Hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave me a message below. And if you enjoyed this video, hey, click subscribe. That really helps us out a lot. We really appreciate it. Click, click subscribe and click that like button. That helps us out a lot. I hope this was a helpful video for you if you're looking for a quick and easy solution for uh, on-the-go camping. Uh, this is definitely the way to do it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.